Ever since mankind began trading goods and services, economics has been a major part of human life. Only in the past few hundred years, however, has economics developed into a complex field of study. At first, economic thought was entertained only by philosophers who thought to explain how people should behave in all aspects of life. Today, scholars devote their entire lives studying the intricate working of market economies. The first economic theory was proposed in ancient times by the Greek philosopher Plato, who suggested that resources and property should be held in common. His pupil, Aristotle, disagreed. Aristotle claimed some private ownership of property was necessary to appease human nature, maximize productivity, and promote philanthropy. The next major progression in economic thought came in the Middle Ages from Italian theologian Thomas Aquinas. Aquinas advocated a just price for all goods and services, only that simple cover the cost of production and labor. Aquinas believed that to charge more than the just price for a product, even in the face of high demand, was immoral. Modern economic thought emerged around 16th century with the rise of mercantilism in England. Mercantilists believe a country acquired wealth by accumulating gold and silver and that the trade with other countries facilitated such accumulation. To promote trade in England's favor, mercantilists called upon the government to employ protect protective economic policies, such as high tariff on important goods and subsidies for exports. It was the first time economic thought shaped national policy. In the 18th century, a group of French philosophers known as Socrates came to disagree with mercantilism. Socrates believed a country's wealth came from agriculture, not trade, and that the idea of government should adopt a lazy ferry, or hands-off, approach to economic activity. The idea of lazy fare became the cornerstone of the classical school of economics thought invented by Scotsman Adam Smith, the father of economics. Smith theory, proposed in 1776, became the blueprint for modern capitalism. He said that the individuals acting in their own self-interest will generate the greatest wealth for the whole of society. Moreover, Collectively pursuing self-interest produces an invisible hand that regulates market activities, eliminating, eliminating the need for government interference or restriction. Smith advocated a completely free market, no tariff, no subsidies, or national trading policies. The government's only role, he argued, is to provide essential public institutions and infrastructure protect property rights, and discourage the formation of cartels and monopolies. Marxism arose in the 19th century to challenge Smith's theory. Karl Marx, a communist, believed that capitalism represented a destructive cycle in which factory owners exploit laborers for profit, gradually leading to depressed wages, unemployment, and economic depression. With each cycle, he theorized, resentment between owners and laborers growing until society eventually collapses. Marx suggested that, to avoid such conflict, laborers should own and control the means of production. While largely rejected as a sound economic policy, Marxism inspired many social advocates to demand important pro-labor reforms. America's greatest depression in the 20th century lead, led to yet another revolution in economic thought. John Maynard Keynes suggested that the U.S. could quickly recover from economic hardship through lower taxes and federal deficit spending. He believed an active government role in economic could promote employment and keep the economy stable. Keynesian economics has guided much of the U.S. policy since then. In 1960s, however, economist Milton Friedman claimed that a Keynesian approach to economics produces unforeseen negative consequences, such as economic depression. 
He proposed readopting Adam Smith's policy of lazy fare and releg relegating the government's rule in economic activity to simply expanding the nation's money supply. Today, aspects of nearly every economic theory can be found within the policies of various countries around the world. As one can see, economic thought can be highly complex and produce a great deal of disagreement. Yet, it is also a discipline that changes with the time to provide solutions to tough problems.